Oh my God, what a disaster. It's disaster. Okay. 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 It's a disaster. It's a disaster. No, it's not. What a mess. Nothing labelled. Portions taken out. That's dreadful. Broccoli. Last night we ran out of vegetables. God, the chef can't be bothered to cook fresh broccoli. The remnants of Exxon Valdez. Oh my God. When was the last time the back of the fridge was clean? And you look at it. What is that in there? Oh my God almighty. That there was a clam. Oh, what a mess. The state of the fridge Melissa, got two minutes. has only confirmed Gordon's belief that the restaurant lacks true passion and leadership. So you're in charge of the kitchen and the general hygiene. It's yeah. Supposed to be, yes. <laughs> Why is it in a mess? Uh it's a hundred times cleaner than it was six months ago. Sure it was. Okay. When was the last time you had a little wipe down there or uh, in here? Just just even that a... I've never done. My God. Unbelievable. Oh, this is embarrassing. That oh. usually does clean that. Right, OK. Um, I'm glad you're starting to make excuses for it. Yep. If you thought this was bad, have a look at this. Chef Ramsey seemed to feel that I was making excuses for everything and really had no idea of the past practices that had gone on here. OK. Last night, we served frozen vegetables to a customer, and we got two boxes of broccoli there. You know, I can't do it all. That's it. You were happy to serve frozen broccoli over fresh broccoli. I'm trying to open up your eyes, Billy, and explain to you, you know, what the current situation is. When was the last time this fridge was cleaned? A week ago. Oh, come on. This hasn't been cleaned in years. No, oh, no, it hasn't. No, 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 it hasn't. I'm sorry, 21 years in the business, I'll bet every fucking dollar I have, this fucking place hasn't been cleaned in years. I'm disgusted. Put your hand down there. He still never did bend down and touch it. It was a big thing of denial for him. I'll take responsibility for the fact that I haven't changed it, but it's not all my fault, you know? Everything's coming out, and this place is going to get cleaned. I wish he'd give me a little more credit for cleaning it up as much as I have so far. It looks 60, 70% times better than it used to look in here. Billy, that's disgusting. No, it's, it's, it's not fine. We've got a big problem. When was the last time that fridge was steam cleaned? I had the kid in there doing it last week. Did you check what he'd done? No, obviously not. So why can't you act like a man and do something about it? No. My God. We've been busting our ass trying to help you out. You're giving up on yourself, this place, and all of and us. us. I wouldn't talk to my dog the way that jackass talks to me. I'm done. He's telling you the truth, though, Billy. Great. There's ways to go about it. 46 years old, never been talked to like that by anybody. And you know what? The only thing that's keeping me from fucking hitting him with a fucking baseball bat is that I'd go to fucking jail for it. I'm done. 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 Finished. And you're not the man everyone here thought you were, Billy. Absolutely you're, not. If you're going to give up, and you're going to give up on all of us, yeah. fine, be a fucking baby, Billy. Fuck it, I'm done. Yeah, you know what? Put the place up for fucking sale. I can go back to construction and enjoy my fucking life the way I used to before I, all of this bullshit. We'll go to bankruptcy court and just give it all up. Fuck it, I'm done. Bye. So help me God, I will not open the door tomorrow and you can all go fuck yourselves and I don't care if it's all for nothing. Do not care. Billy! You know what? I'll survive somehow. Billy. Fuck you. We know! Shut your mouth already! Absolute crazy. Adele's attitude is completely toxic and it trickles down from us to the patrons. It's 45 minutes into dinner service and Brian has finally completed the first orders. I need his food out of the window right now. However, just as fast as dishes are rushed to the dining room, really small, and the risotto is very bland. they are quickly returned to the kitchen. Hey guys, the shrimps are just way too small. And she said the red rice, the risotto is just bland. Oh my god. I've had it today already. I've had it. Why am I here? That's it. I'm taking a break. Fuck this. Right, two seconds. Bottom line, I mean, it was just about overwhelming. Disaster. Disaster. 
major. It's the menu I was thrown into, and it's a disastrous menu. How can you get passionate about cooking something you hate? It's all over the place. It's uncookable. Right. I need to know that you're committed. I'm committed. committed to change. Yes. Because they have no clue. This restaurant turnaround cannot depend on them. It depends on you sticking with me. Is right. that clear? Absolutely. OK, thank you. Yep. Now that Chef Ramsay understands Brian's issues, they head back to the kitchen. Here I go. Meanwhile, Bill is ready to serve the tableside tsunami. I get tired real quick, but to help the business, I'll do whatever I have to do. Is that well done? No, it's me and Rare. If you just cut that a little bit, you'll see it's me and Rare. All you have to do is cut it. It's cut. No, but I mean cut it this way, because it was sitting on a hot tile. It's not medium rare. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. You've got a 70 year old he man going round and round the dining room. Yeah, no, he shouldn't be doing this at this pace. Well, they're too, so cheap, they're too cheap to hire anybody else. What are you trying to do? Put the father in the grave? I mean, that's he's got one foot in there already. He didn't even want to do this. He didn't want, he wanted he to retire. Me that. That's what hurts. Yeah. Bill is overworked. I mean, it's not fair. After a night where he witnessed a dejected chef, unhappy patrons, and an overworked older owner, Gordon knows he has to have a serious talk with the tough mother-daughter team of Adele and Cheryl. I wanted to talk to you both personally and express my concerns about Bill. I'm seriously worried about him in a big way. Running around at the age of 70, pushing the cart. Why are you guys letting him do this? Well, he really doesn't work that much. You know what? It's always poor Bill. That's Bill's nickname. Poor Bill. Why have you asked me to come here? Because I feel like I'm wasting my time. Because we don't know what the problem is. The service downstairs tonight, how was that? The kitchen, the kitchen was a, a disaster. Yeah. So you've employed the chef? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't been given chance to cook. He's cooking your menu. Right. Well, I, we never changed the menu since we opened. He never gets chance to show you what he can cook. Because we felt that our food was very good. Right. Are you stupid? I guess I am. You're accepting that it's perfect. I'm trying to tell you bluntly that it's not. Yet you never seem to accept your own mistakes. It's never your doing. We thought our food was good, but now you just, you know, said it's horrible. You cannot see a problem in your own establishment. No. I'm being honest. What I would like to see it's just a little bit more integrity with owning up to the responsibility to why this place is not working. There's no acceptance on your own mistakes. Good night. Where's the stuff cleaners? But where's the clamps? Absolutely. It's got to be mixed in there, no? It's mush, but where are the clamps? I don't see it either. No, taste that, please. I was like a little scared to eat off his plate because I thought he was gonna stab me with the fork if like I told him it was good. I just taste breadcrumbs. Does that, does that mean microwave? I mean, it tastes like a stuffing that you'd stick in the ass end of a turkey. I'll take it out of your way. Oh my God. He said that there's no clams in this. He said that this tastes like a stuffing out of a turkey. Those well, stuffed clams are garbage anyway. Keith, he hates our food. He said that the stuffing in the stuffed clams tastes like it should be from, like, the ass of a turkey or something. Don't you dare blame me for anything like that, OK? Can I have that salmon? Coming right now. Taste of Italy? No. Certainly not in the kitchens. Maybe a taste of the Italian sewers. OK, here we go. Um, I always get nervous when the chefs start decorating the place with parsley. Undercooked salmon that's stone cold in the middle. Eesh. Mush. Van. So we'll do this. T taste the, the rice for me. So you got insepid gloop. When was that made? I think they made that yesterday. Oh, fuck. Yesterday? Yeah. How much was that? 21. $21. So that's a taste of Italian leftovers for $21. Oh, Jesus. Want anything else? Uh, sick bag, maybe. Thank you. Holy fuck. 
Did you go get the liquor? No. Why? Why? We're about to get reamed right now. He said he, he hates every single thing on the menu. He hates everything that he ate. He said everything is totally, totally disgusting. I'm going to talk to him later. Why do you need to talk to him later? Don't let me elbow you. Um, Stop can you get Stop. Can you, Stop. I'm lying? Stop. You don't know. You're, you're here at 4 30. You don't know what I do. Watch yourself, bro. Just keep, that, just keep that in mind. You're basically just making yourself look like a bigger jackass when you lie about things. So why don't you just come clean? He's obviously here to help you. So let Gordon help you. You have no clue what I do. Okay. Except when I get here. You're right. You're right. Before you found out he was coming here, who you closed your restaurant every night? Stop, don't say shush. Stop, stop saying what? What's going on back there? He, he's here to help us. Jesus, somebody call the police? What? Why am I lying? I don't understand how I'm lying. And I'm being honest that you're never fucking at your restaurant. Your son, not mine. Ignore them right now because you're embarrassing me. Shut up. Keith, I'm leaving. It's not gonna happen. Yes, I am. I'm leaving right now. Shut up! What's going on? He gets mad because I'm trying to tell him the truth and he's making me try to look like an idiot in front of you. You can't handle the truth, BK. That's the problem, and you know that. You okay? Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh, no, I just feel a lot of confrontation. Why are you lying? He's here to help us. He's not here because the owners run everything exactly. perfectly. And this is why he's here, and this is what needs to change. And I can't take it. Where is Lisa? Is she gone upstairs? She's in the restroom yet. She's in the restroom, yeah. Fucking hell. She's in the restroom, and the restroom's in the shit. Sulking, precious princess. Lisa. So upset I can't go out there. We need to face and fix it. Can't. I have never seen Lisa like that or upset like that ever. She's a very tough person. Lisa, you're really strong. Of course you can handle it. <laughs> I didn't expect she was going to react to like this. Damien. OK. That's fine, yeah? That's clean, yeah? Yeah. It's the cleanest I've ever seen it. Louis. OK, we start firing up again now, yeah? Is, is Lisa out of the toilet yet? Not yet. She's still there. She's still in there. That's nearly an hour. I've been here for an hour, hour and 20 minutes. I'm not going to be watching the game. We've been waiting too long. Is she OK? Is she going to the bathroom? Do you want to go and check on her? Or... I can check yeah. on her. Would you mind? Thank no, you. OK. Lisa, let's go. I know he's sick. He breaks me down like no one else has before. I can't go out there. She's not going to come out for nothing. We are trying really hard. So she's giving up? No. Come on, Bruno. A dismal dinner service comes to an end. Not even an appetizer? I'm trying to be so With disappointed customers leaving unsatisfied. As for Lisa, she finishes off the service, still sequestered in the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't really expect it to be this hard. I try my best, and I really want the best for this restaurant. You got two minutes? Yes. <laughs> no. I feel pretty helpless right now. So that was a shit night. Mm-hmm. You got upset, and you disappeared. Yeah. That's not the way to face problems. What was I supposed to do? Like, what, you want me to go back and dust? Like, I don't get what you're you trying get, to okay. say okay. right now. So is that the kind of trick that they teach you in an honors degree? To disappear in a toilet like a precious princess? I don't think of myself as, like, a princess. I really don't. Like, just think I am an average person working hard to fulfill my dreams. You bought the restaurant young. Yeah. That was the easy part, purchasing. Mm -hmm. The hardest part was the following day, running the fucking thing. It's like, I, you know, no one's ever told you the truth, but more importantly, I think you're in denial. Why am I here? Because we need help, and I'm missing a key ingredient, obviously, because we have a good location, I have a great staff, I have a good energy, I, I love the place. Something's missing. OK. I'm going to give you a business assignment tonight. Back to the good old days, USC. I need five real clear changes that you want to make tomorrow to be implemented. OK. 
We got sand in the muscles. There's supposed to be sand in the steamer. Is that supposed to get a fucking bra? I don't know, guys. So if people don't know what the fuck they're ordering, what are they ordering? David's definitely a know-it-all, and he can be a little rude. What table is that? Table eight. Thank you. Hi. You had the uh, clam bake, and there was a problem with the mussels or the steamers? Both. Oh, they're terribly sand. Yeah, there should be sand in the steamer. There often is, and that's why you have the broth to dip them in. So what would you like instead of those? Uh, nothing. In fact, I'll just eat the lobster. I'm fine. Okay, it'll be right out. Uh, we just reprimanded. I do not think that Chef Ramsay likes David because Chef Ramsay has a bullshit detector, and David can be full of it sometimes. What happened? Thanks, Chef. No, they're done. They're done. Yeah, they just didn't like it. Jesus Christ. That's the funniest fish and chips I've ever seen in my life. You know that? What happened? I just smell inside there. Mm. Will you please? Phil, two seconds. This smells all right there. to me. From the sink. What do you smell, Phil? It smells old. Why didn't they eat it? I don't know, Gordon. Yeah, do you ever ask yourself that question? I don't. I ask I suppose, myself that question all the time. I suppose you actually don't give a fuck. You know that. I do give a fuck, I've and you know seen... I give a fuck. You seem a very relaxed man with your restaurant. What do you want me to do? I disagree. It doesn't smell bad to me, the fish. I've right? just given a piece to your chef. Yeah. The piece was stinking. It wasn't stinking. You're blind, my friend. No. Well, if you're not blind, you're fucking clueless. You know that. Tough day today, and I'm. Um... I'm deeply concerned. I see a ship here that is rudderless. And maybe that was the first time that all three of you were working inside this restaurant in a long time. Tonight showed. When was the last time you expedited? All the time I'm back there. You were not, you're not really back there as much as you I'm, were back there tonight. No, no, never, because it's never been that. We've never had the whole line up, the whole line with tickets, ever. David, can you stop being a slippery eel for 15 minutes in front of your team? and answer the fucking truth. Gordon, the fucking truth is that yes. I'm back there when it's busy every fucking night that I work. I think a lot of what Chef Ramsay's had to say about David was fairly true. I don't believe that David shows that he cares. OK, I've, uh, I've seen enough today. I've got to go and start really seriously fucking understanding, you know, how to get a direction within this restaurant. I'll see you first thing in the morning. Good night. Uh, David. Yeah. You tell me about the passion with the main lobster. Are you aware that the lobsters in your fridge are Canadian? Same water as North Atlantic waters. You're telling me now a Canadian lobster, half the price of a main lobster, is the same taste and flavor? There's a big difference. I can't get Maine lobsters. That's right, so they get yeah. them from Canada. I'm using Canadian lobsters. That's right, that's what they do. But, the but price... I don't advertise them as Maine. Tell me, is it a different animal? Maine mm -hmm. is a Canadian lobster for you. Amartus Americanus, same animal, right? Holy shit. I'm asking you a question. What you're trying to dictate to me is that you're selling Maine lobster. They're not from Maine. Well, it comes from the same vendor. Holy shit. The award-winning Maine lobster roll is Canadian.